Let's actually talk the Indiana Pacers. Um, last week, you talked a lot of shit about the Indiana Pacers. Mm-hmm. You said they weren't going to make it. You said that Victor Oladipo was like, oh, I don't know about that guy, et cetera, et cetera. I know about him. I said no, I told you he was hurt the past four games, and they won't make the playoffs. But since he's come back, they have been rolling. Yeah. Um, they've played great. Not really rolling. They, they've been rolling. Rolling is wrong. Rolling I disagree with that. Rolling. I disagree with that. Rolling. Yes. In their last 10, they're 4 and 6. Yes, but he. Okay. The, okay. The one, Rolling is the wrong word. Okay. The loss that they had in the game before the game versus the Cavs, I believe it was a close loss late. I'm not angry it's at not close. rolling. I'm not angry. No, loss. but no. But before Oladipo came back, they lost 4 in a row. Yeah. yeah. Or, no, or yeah, it might have yeah. been 5 in a row. So no, even I, with that being said, Oladipo coming back makes a difference for you. The, 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 the Pacers actually have a better plus minus differential than the Bucks, and the Sixers got a better plus minus differential than the Bucks, and then and they got a better plus minus differential than the Heat, and the Heat are the fucking fourth seed. So with well, the Pacers, plus minus on. no, 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 no. I'm talking about plus minus in terms of point differential. I know, yeah, yeah. No, so no, that no. means that you're getting outscored by your opponents every game. Mm-hmm. The fucking Miami Heat are giving are scoring 101 points a game, giving up 102. The Pacers are scoring 107, giving up 106. The Bucks are scoring 105.7, giving up 106.4. That makes a difference. Yeah, of course. Those five points make a difference you in the do. series. You do. So that's all I'm saying. So I still believe in this Pacers team. I still think they're gonna make the playoffs. I still think if they fuck around and play a team like Toronto. Or maybe the Heat in the first round because the Eastern Conference five through eight is very is like very close. Currently, it's within uh, essentially um, two games. So I mean, we'll see. But honestly, I'm not worried about the Pacers. I'm more so worried about the Sixers um, than I am them. But honestly, the Cavs are three and seven in their last ten. The That's Detroit terrible. Pistons are five and five in the last ten. The Milwaukee Bucks are five and five in the last ten. The Pacers are, five, are four and six in the last ten. But Victor Oladipo was out for four or five of those games. The Philadelphia 76ers are five and five, five in those five, last games. Mid. The New York Knicks are they two and eight in those last games. The Charlotte Hornets are five and five in those last ten games. The um, um, the Brooklyn um, Nets are four, four and six, six in those last games. And the Bulls are five and five, and they're getting twenty points. I mean, they're getting 18 points a game back uh, per game in Zach Levine. Nobody's running away with anything. And nobody's running away with anything in the East or in the West. Yeah. So, going forward, we'll see. But anyways, we talked enough about the Lakers. You got anything you, to say about the Lakers you, right now? You not going to let me add in nothing about the oh, Pacers? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you didn't say anything. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. I mean, I still think it's possible that they drop out the playoffs. Um, Because, again, I anticipate Philly to improve. Um, I think in B, that missed about three games. He came back. He also back. doesn't practice. Allegedly, he doesn't practice. Um, it's not allegedly. It's okay. a fucking fact. He doesn't fucking practice. He doesn't practice or do shoot around. It's, okay. a fa- it's literally a fact. Okay, all right. It's not allegedly. Okay. It's all a right. fact. Okay, all right. Um, I still think they can improve. And again, if they don't make the playoffs, this is a disappointment for Philly this year. Like, you want to make the playoffs. I agree. You Especially wanna, with a potential all-star and NBA. Yeah, and you want to get this fan base. Like, you've been going through a process, what, four years now? Mm-hmm. You want to make the playoffs. Like, that's why you pay J.J. Reddick $26 million for one year. You want to make the playoffs. Even if you get swept in the first round, you still want to at least finally get some playoff revenue back, and you at least want to just get the fan base like, yo, we really might have something in Philly. Like the process really might have worked. So I think that they'll eventually make the playoffs. Um, but again, still, I like Indiana going forward for the future. Like, again, I like... Sabonis and I like Miles Turner. Like those Sabonis, are. I saw a tweet yesterday today where it was like every time LeBron get fucked up, he blames his teammates. LeBron got fucked up by Sabonis in the oh, post, yeah, he, I, and then he turned around and looked at Kevin Love. Like I think they were supposed got, to switch back or like something, but no, no he did get. Oh, he got sauced he up. Get he got sauced up in the post. Yeah, I mean, he that Sabonis, man, uh, uh, and then turned around and he was gone. LeBron. Sabonis like, is giving you twelve, eight, and two off the bench. Like that's, that's it is second. And, guess, and, he's and guess what? Old. And guess what? Nico is giving you seventeen and 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 pretty much six. Yeah, but Sabonis has a higher ceiling than what Nico does. Nico has a higher PER. Nico's yeah, PER is at twenty two. Sabonis is twenty one. Nico is also like twenty seven years old. Okay, you told me that your peak don't. You know, I mean that your peak of your prime don't come between the ages of, until it 20, doesn't until twenty two to thirty two or no, I mean, I'm sorry twenty six to thirty twenty eight to thirty one so, exactly for the great players. So so Nico's. He still. Yeah, but. He's been around for a minute. Sabonis is already doing this at 21 years old. Like, Sabonis is, has, a, what, a higher ceiling than what Nico does, in my personal opinion. Okay, go ahead. I mean, but, nah, I like them going forward. Like, I, 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 I still think, I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs this year. Um, They have to stay healthy. This this is a team that has to stay healthy. They can't lose anybody. They lose one person, 
it's going to hurt them. I mean, if they lose, I think that they'll be fine if they lose one person. I think the one person they can't lose Victor. is Victor Oladipo. Victor, they, they, they can't lose, as they much can't lose as, Victor. Like, he's been a borderline all-star. No, borderline. He's an all-star. It's an all-star. Hands down, that man's an all-star. Ain't no borderline. Don't disrespect that man like that. He's hands down an all-star. He, no, he's not. He's right. averaging 24 points he, he might in the not, East. He's he, an all-star. He might not be an all-star. Yes, he will. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it next Okay. Second. But, yeah. Regardless, I mean, I still don't know if they're going to. I think that Philly is going to move up. And I think Philly's gonna move up. And if they don't, it's a disappointment. If they don't, it's not a disappointment for me. It's still uh, Ben Simmons' rookie year. It's still technically Joel Embiid. He'll have, for the first time have played over eighty-two games or more than fifty games in a full, more than forty games in a full season. Fifty games in a full season. You want to make the playoffs? I'm fine with that.